Could there be an even lower than expected voter turnout in the upcoming local government elections? Well, with six political parties contesting 137 seats, political analyst Dr. Bishnu Raghunath says voters may prefer to withhold their votes rather than split them. Marie Hull tells us more. In less than 20 days, registered voters for the 2016 local government elections will have a chance to cast their votes for their candidate of choice. While heavy campaigning is expected throughout Trinidad, political analyst Dr. Bishnu Raghunath says there will be two types of strategies taking place to win votes. He says with the PNM government focusing on reform, the other five parties such as UNC, NSA, ILP, COP and MSG will be appealing to the voters who want change. Knowing Trinidad and Tobago's politics the way we do, Trans Vegas politics is really about party politics, it's not about uh, local politics, it's not about what is best for your community or your electoral district or who's the best candidate to represent your electoral district. Uh, but it is really about party politics and that is the sad part of our politics at this point in time. In the 2013 local government elections, proportional representation was introduced, allowing seats to reflect the margins of victory, meaning even minorities have voices. Dr. Raghunath said, while the new parties contesting electoral districts are hoping to split votes, he doesn't believe persons will change their party, but rather not vote at all. If some people take the perspective that they should not vote at all, then we could see an even lower voter turnout in this election, which is something that, as at this point in time, I am saying that I don't see the population being excited or, or in energize they want to go out there and, and vote people who are not these supporters of one party or another the 2016 local government elections is scheduled to take place on monday november 28th marie hall c news